Sleep. It's too soon for you to be hungry. Daddy is coming for his dinner. This is the worst wind yet. I had to light the lantern in the tool shed too. Hungry? Sure. The wind should die down today. It's, it's the third day. The lamp between them threw strong lights and shadows on their faces. I'm afraid, Paul. I can't stand it any longer. He cries all the time. You will go, Paul. Say you will. We aren't living here. Not really living. Ellen, we stay here. You're only thinking of yourself, not the baby. I'm thinking of all of us, Paul. You too. Look at it, you fool. Desert. The lamp lit at noon. You'll see. It'll come back. There will be good wheat. Silence fell in the room. It seemed the yellow lamplight cast a hush upon them. Don't go yet. You cannot work on the land anyway. Please stay, Paul. We won't quarrel. We'll talk tomorrow when the wind dies down. He must talk to Ellen. But once he arrived in the house, she was not there. Door open, lamp blown out, crib empty, and the rest just like he left it. He crossed to the adjoining room, and without a glance in, he wheeled again and plunged himself outside, running quickly. The child was quite cold. It had been in her arms, perhaps, too frantic to protect him, or the smother of the dust upon his throat and lungs. You were right, Paul. You said tonight we'd see the storm go down. So still now, and a red sky. It means tomorrow will be fine.